employees have to complete repetitive tasks every day. This is a look at a content planning template and what a typical workflow might look like without automation. As you can see, this process can become very time consuming. That's where AppSheet comes in. With AppSheet, we can quickly optimize this business process. This is a look at a form view inside of AppSheet. We can adjust the topic, the task, and then also assign the creator, graphic designer, and editor what platform this piece of content will be posted to, the start date and end date, and notify what the status is of this project. Next, we can click into the piece of content and look at the detailed view. And we can also view this same content in a calendar view. Let's look at how to set up this workflow in AppSheet. What's up everyone, Austin from AppSheet Training here. And today, we're gonna look at how to connect our data to AppSheet. This is an essential step in the AppSheet development process. Once you have your data, you're gonna to want to organize it so that it's compatible with AppSheet. Next, we'll look at how to set up the proper column structure inside of AppSheet. Let's get started. All right, in step one, we're going to structure our data inside of our Google Sheets data sets. Okay, so now we're in our Google Sheets data set for the content planning template. And what we're gonna do is organize this data so that it's ready to connect with AppSheet. So our first step is we're gonna create those three data tables that we talked about earlier. We're gonna set up the platform table, the um, content table, and the um, employee table. So first I'll go ahead and put the content table and then we'll have our platform table next. And finally, we'll have our employee table. All right. And so next, I'm just gonna do a bit of organizing. Now let's take a look at our organized um, data sets. So we've taken our content planning template data, our raw data here, and we've organized it into three separate tables. So we have our content table, and we have our ID column, our platform ID, which is a foreign key, and then our creator, graphic designer, and editor columns, which are also foreign keys to their respective tables. So the platform ID is referencing the platform table, and then these three columns here are referencing the employee table. Let's go ahead and take a look at these tables next. So this is our parent table for platform ID. And this table, we can see we have an ID column and a platform name column and a platform type column. Next, our employee table has an email column as the ID column. And then we have a profile picture column, first name, last name, and admin column. And all of this was organized from our raw data set. So we just simply took the raw data that was a little bit unorganized and um, we restructured it so that way it can um, connect with AppSheet in our next step. Okay, in step two, we're gonna connect our data to AppSheet. The steps we're gonna follow is we're gonna select extensions, AppSheet, and then create an app. We'll add all of our data tables from Google Sheets and then we'll do our last step of setting up our column types inside of AppSheet. First step, we're gonna to go to Extensions, AppSheet, and create an app. All right. Our app is set up, and it looks like AppSheet was able to recognize um, the way we wanted to interact with our app. So we have our statuses um, up at the top, which content has been approved, which content has been completed, not started, and which content has been published. Okay, um, the next step is we're going to add our other data sets um, so that we can start relating data um, between the different tables together. So we're going to click start customizing. Now that we're in app sheet, let's begin customizing this app. So we're going to start with the data tab and we're in tables and we're going to click 
add table and the table we're going to add is the platform table all right now we have the platform table added and then last table that we have to add is our employee table perfect that table is now added as well all right so the next step is we're going to start organizing our column types and setting up our keys and labels. So let's view our columns. This is the content table. So remember, this is our child table. We're going to click view columns and we have an ID column. Um, this is going to be our key column. And then for this table, I'm just going to go ahead and make the topic our label. Okay. So, um, text is good for the topic um, task is going to be long text because um, we might have a description to write in there for the task okay and then creator is going to be a reference to the employee table and go ahead and mark that as done and then next graphic designer is also a reference to the employee table and so we'll create that relationship and then editor is also a reference to the employee table and we'll mark that as done and next platform ID remember um, when we have the table name and the ID this is our foreign key um, that's what that name convention is telling us and so we'll go ahead and click reference and the reference um, for this column is in the name and it's the platform table and so we've got that relationship set up and AppSheet was able to guess what we wanted here we wanted the start date to publish and end date to publish and then next we have our status and this is going to be an enum and we'll go ahead and set those values um, by clicking the add button so I hit the edit pencil and then I'm in type details and then I'm gonna write our values in alright so these are the different statuses that um, you'll be able to set when you use this app okay and then last is gonna be our link column so this will be a URL type is what we're looking for um, since it's a Google Drive link you can copy and paste this um, URL that you get from your Google Drive and insert that into that field right there. Okay, last thing to check is we're gonna see if there is a unique ID um, for the ID column, perfect. There is, so that is good, it's set up. All right, it looks like our columns are set up. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. All right, that's it. That's how we can quickly create and customize an AppSheet app um, and connect it to the AppSheet editor. In our next video, we'll look at how to create a guided user experience and create a Google Calendar integration. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to check out some of our other videos on our channel. Also, we'd like to connect. You can sign up for a free tech talk where we can help your team create these same great solutions. We'll see you around.